As your president, I assure you, the BTA and all the Bangsamoro people of this administration's full and unwavering commitment to the peace process and to BARM. This is why we are steadfast in our commitment to the peace process here in Southern Philippines. So we, are, we push for socioeconomic development, interventions to promote peace and development in areas affected by decades of conflict. Through the PAMANA program, we provide socioeconomic interventions that build a culture of peace in highly conflict-affected and vulnerable areas. The government has allocated more than 19 billion pesos for the period of 2017 to 2022 in this endeavor. And we will ensure the completion despite delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, the government, through the Department of Budget and Management, has allocated 74.4 billion pesos for the Bangsamoro region fiscal year 2023. Given these new opportunities to deliver our commitments to the people of Barm, I urge you to pass all the crucial legislations on foreign po on fiscal policy, particularly taxation, and to facilitate the conduct of the elections in the Barm the bar in 2025. I also encourage the BTA to pass measures that will secure the welfare of the Moro people, particularly in agri-fishery, healthcare, transportation, communication, digital infrastructure, and e-governance. As we celebrate National Peace Consciousness Month this September, we know that with unity and solidarity, the BTA will be successful in facilitating the institution of the Bangsamoro government, one that is centered in promoting good governance and lasting peace for its people. The path to lasting peace is always under construction. But we walk this path together, and we walk it not because it is an easy one. We walk this path together because even if it is difficult, we know that at the end of the journey is historical justice, progress, peace, stability, and the unity that our peoples and our nation have long aspired for and so rightly deserve. 